Yeah, hi and welcome to this uh, Let's Play ABC for Beginners. Okay, so I just created a game um, and I just, you know, landed in the world. So as you can see, I landed in water. Okay, so over there we have a sheep, which is very, very good. Alright, I need to get out of the water first of all, and I think I will uh, move towards the sheep actually because we will need it as I will show you okay first of all ABC how to move ahead, uh, move forward and how to move backward and to the sides alright uh, this is survival mode and um, peaceful so that means no hostiles no nothing alright for those of you who have never played this game before ever and are beginners what keys to use and how to use them. Alright, so to move forward, press the W key on the keyboard. A one uh, push, one step forward. If you hold it in, you will walk like that. Then the S key for moving backwards, like this. One push, one step. Press down the S key, move backwards. Okay, so to move towards the right. Oh, here's a sheep that's wondering what I'm doing. Uh, to move uh, towards uh, the right side, right hand side, press D button, as in David, like that. One press, oh, one push, it's one step, and uh, hold it in continuously. You walk towards the right like this, okay? And to move to your left, the A button, as in A, uh, Adam, all right, and now we have a situation here when, when you can't go any further. Okay, so to get uh, up here, you need to jump. And to do that, I will go forward, and then I will press uh, the um, blank space button, the big old button uh, at uh, the bottom of the keyboard. All right, so pr press W and uh, the blank space key at the same time. Okay, so now you're out of that little hole. Okay, and I got, as you can see, seeds. That was because uh, I um, I got some uh, grass here. All right, so W forward, S backwards, D to the right and A to the left. Okay, that's the basics. If you want to jump, uh, the blank uh, blank space uh, large uh, key button, like that. And if you want to go forward and jump up, both keys down at the same time. And if you hold them down, then you will jump and move forward. Okay, then to turn, like this, use the mouse. Don't press any keys, just move the mouse to the right and to the left. Up, look up, there's the sun, and um, take the mouse down towards you. Um, you will look down. Alright, so that's it. Well, everybody's watching you here, and now we need to get some wood to do some basic stuff. So, to get this wood, I will uh, press the left mouse button. I will point uh, towards what I want and press hold down the left mouse button. Okay, and to scroll uh, this um, lower, what's it called, menu thingy on the on the bottom of the screen, just uh, use uh, the wheel. The, the wheel on the mouse like this okay so I choose to have hold this birch wood cube and then press left to get more wood getting wood is basic very basic because if you don't have wood you will have a serious problem because you need wood to build a house well you don't need it to build a house I mean you can build a house from dirt cubes but uh, it would be a very basic house but to get a bed and a door and tools and stuff, you will need some um, 
some wood. All right, so we will need the sheep now because we will need a bed eventually. So we had a lot of sheep here before, so we will go and uh, get them. And since I don't have a couple of shears, a type of scissors yet, I unfortunately have to kill these sheep. I need three blocks of wool, and in this situation, it it means uh, three sheep. Okay, so now I got wool, and I have to get two more sheep. I don't like to do this, and later on when I do have these shears, and I will get shears by mining and uh, get some iron, but it will take a while. Now I have two wool cubes. I need a third sheep, third cube. So let's see where the other sheep went. So I should have done this straight off, but I wanted to show how to move around, obviously. And now I have to go sheep hunting. So okay, since this is a uh, peaceful mode, that as I said, it means that there will be no hostiles whatsoever here, which is good. Uh, because otherwise, if we would have uh, like normal difficulty or, God forbid, hard difficulty, uh, it would be very important to make a type of shelter as soon as possible because uh, the hostiles spawn uh, at a lower uh, light level than 7. And as soon as um, as soon as dark uh, comes, uh, night comes, a lot of hostiles everywhere. So we need to find another sheep. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm sheep hunting. Now I'm jumping. So W and uh, the blank space button. Okay, I know there was a sheep here. I know there were three sheep here before, and I've gotten two. So I will uh, try to find them. And um, yeah, well, we have to be very careful walking around here because otherwise you go, uh -huh, you might find yourself in a ravine situation. I will show what I just reacted to. Okay, so this here, uh, the glowing thing, is iron. So, and I don't know if you heard that sound, but that sound uh, tells me that it is a dangerous place to be, and uh, we should not uh, be there if we were to play in a normal mode. But since we are in um, peaceful, doesn't matter. Okay, so how did I get this uh, uh, this picture up? Well, I pressed E button. And then I uh, took the cube, uh, the wood cube, and by uh, left clicking the item, and then I put the wood cube up here, and then I got some wood planks, and then I left clicked um, the wood planks, and I put four of them here, and now I have this uh, crafting table. Okay, I need crafting table to be able to do almost everything. Okay, I press E again to get out of that picture. I will put take the crafting table and by using uh, the right button I will put the like that, the right button and then I will put down the crafting table. All right, so again, I will uh, take this. Um, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys right now, but uh, I will look at the crafting table, take the wood planks, and right click on my mouse, left click, and now uh, left click again, take the sticks by left clicking. Put the left, uh, put the sticks in here, 
by left clicking okay right click on the sticks I will take half of it and left click to put it down right click left click right and left now I have a wooden pickaxe okay I don't have stones yet so cobblestone so I need to mine uh, some stone before I can mine oh there's a bat before I can mine that uh, iron so I will hold down the uh, left mouse button uh, to mine so now I have some cobblestone and now you see that it's night time so if this were to be normal or hard it will be full of uh, hostiles but since it's not since it is peaceful we can do everything in our own little way okay so here we have a stone pickaxe so now we can go and get the, um, the iron alright so basically if this was a normal game with normal difficulty I would not dare go down here except for a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, torches because of the light level situation uh, here I'm mining also some coal as you can see which is a very good thing if you want to have torches and light and everything and be well not safe but fairly safe anyways and never ever mine the bond block that you're standing on because I have done that mistake a couple of times and I have fallen deep underground uh, a couple of times I've actually died because I thought there were some um, uh, something underneath and it wasn't and then I fell to my death and I had to respawn and it was really horrifying because I you know I couldn't find my way back so that was not a good it's not a good idea actually to to do things like that okay this is the way this configuration is the way to make torches okay so wooden sticks and coal and it also works if you have charcoal and I will show you momentarily how to make charcoal okay and if you hear a little sound in the background that's just my little kitty cat because she doesn't like me sitting on her chair so but she has to get used to it sort of yeah okay so <laughs> she is here uh, making my life and uh, this uh, let's play is very interesting okay so here you can see how the um, torch works all of a sudden we have a little bit more light uh, to work with okay here we have iron ore we will put that in the top box and we will put some coal in the bottom box the aim for this is to make uh, iron ingots and uh, the reason why we want to do iron ingots is uh, to make shears so that we can cut wool from the sheep sheep and not have to kill them okay so we will need two iron ingots actually to do that uh, we can let this thing uh, work on its own we just press the E button and it is working and now we will hold the iron ingots and uh, right click on the crafting table we will left click on the iron ingots and then left click again right to split them up left click again and this configuration will give us the shears which we want okay well we have two walls uh, and we will need three to uh, be able to make the bed so uh, until we have we see this um, this third sheep there is not much we can do actually about it but we will melt the iron ore and we can actually go down here ag again to see if there is anything else that we can get because now we have uh, a little light situation here which is very good okay so if this were 
was not um, a peaceful place, a peaceful mode, I would definitely not go down here in the middle of the night. But if you are an adventurous type person, well, this might actually be the ideal time to go down and mine and uh, interact with all sorts of monsters and uh, types of creatures because there will be a lot of creatures. There are uh, skeleton shooters, which is very strange, but any anywho, skeleton shooters, and there are some zombies, and there are some spiders, and all kinds of uh, types. Uh, yeah, creepers. I cannot forget to mention the creepers. The creepers are, um, well, hostile mob, obviously. Uh, their aim is, they have one purpose, and one purpose only, uh, as far as I know, and that is to kill um, people, actually, yeah. They don't have any other aim than to blow themselves up in the close vicinity of uh, a villager or you, basically. So, uh, if you interact one of these if you see one of these creepers, uh, a good suggestion would be to move the other way. And uh, to, do, to do that, you just back or you turn around and run like crazy. Okay, so I don't know if you hear this sound in, in the background, but I think we have a horse here somewhere. Oh, it sounded like it. And... Um, like I said, it's not a problem as yet, because we have no hostiles here. Okay, we have some iron ingots and stuff, and uh, let's just uh, go down and see. There was something I wanted to say. We have some more coal, also. I will just try to mine these coals, because uh, you can never actually get too, mu too much coal. And if you do get a whole lot of coal, and you find no, uh, no means, no reason to use it, for some reason, you can actually make uh, black cubes out of it, and use it to build stuff. Well, well the build buildings, not, not uh, tools and stuff, but anywho. And, uh, like I said before, uh, to mine everything, you just, uh, you know, you look at and mark the cube you want, and then uh, press, choose the tool you want to use, and then press the left mouse button. Uh, one thing to think about when you're down here mining is that uh, listen to the sounds around you, because uh, sometimes there will be... Um, lava lakes, lava flows, and if you end up in lava flow, you will burn up, and if you don't have a bucket of water, uh, you will actually die in the process. So, if you hear a strange noise, be aware, be prepared to, uh, you know, run and stuff. Now it's very dark, so this goes against everything I normally believe in and do because I can't see uh hmm I can't see a lot of things, so I need to go and get one of my torches here actually yeah, uh I need to go back uh let's see here I have those, and I will move things around. yeah, I think I have a horse back there somewhere because it sounds like like a horse sound, okay? So, um, yeah, there was one other thing I was going to, to talk about here, and that is these white cube thingies, they're very beautiful, very nice indeed, in all sorts of ways, but uh, this is made out of sand. So be careful when you mine this, because don't stand directly, aha, uh -huh, here is a horse. Uh, don't stand directly uh, underneath it. Okay, there's a horse jumping like crazy. I think it's stuck, actually. 
Yeah, we have like two horse. Oh, I think it's a foal. Yeah, a hor I think it's a horse baby. So this is a bit weird. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but I was very faint in the, in the background. That was the sound of uh, lava. And what the horse is doing, I have no idea. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why, why he's there. But anywho. Okay, get back to these things. Don't stand directly beneath it. Because if you are unlucky, um, that will happen. And if you, if you get that on your head, and it's a lot of things, you might actually die. Yeah. Okay, but as you can see, I mean, this is this is sand. I will show you. And it's a good thing to actually have sand because with sand, you can make glass windows and and glass. But it is an easy way to to get a hole of sand than standing beneath it. So, since it's morning upstairs, um we will go. I will bring all my uh torches and uh we will go out of this thingy and uh, I will try to push the horses okay if you don't want to go you don't want to go all right well I hope you don't end up in there yeah I can't forget these all right so to get this back you have to actually uh, <laughs> sort of demolish it and you use a pickaxe for the stone oven otherwise you will have a problem and uh, normally you could use like a normal axe or pickaxe or whatever to get these thingies and to see that we actually got it I mean there are no there, there are not left here so press E button here we have the crafting table and the furnace and everything so yeah okay let's see uh, the sand and do not fall down the, the mining shaft because that's not a good idea. Okay, here are the horses. Well, to get sand, you don't really need a tool. I mean, you can do it by hand. So I will show you. I will take these things away. All right. So now I don't have any tool in my hand, and I will just do it like this because it is sand. It's very easy uh, to make. Uh, you you need quite a lot of sand actually to to make windows and um, you can also make that sort of uh, nice uh, hardened sand cubes uh, to build with it's very very nice very beautiful but it's uh, it's a matter of choice but I want sand cubes to be able to make windows all right so again if this would have been a normal difficulty. Uh, it would not have been a great idea to be outside a shelter. But since it's peaceful, no hurry, no rush, not a problem. And if you are a beginner at this Minecraft, the uh, peaceful mode might be a, <laughs> a good... Uh, it's, it's a good uh, difficulty to use to learn how to do this. Okay? Uh, well, I have, uh, now I can see I have like 45, 46, 48 cubes. Uh, you can have a maximum of 64 cubes normally. Then there are some materials that uh, only allow uh, 16 items, but uh, you, will, you will see that eventually. Okay, so I have, I think, all I need, and uh, you could probably hear the cat meowing in the background here because she wants attention. But uh, no matter. Uh, this happened. I got the best because I used the shears on the grass and then that happens. But I don't want to use the shears too much because we have a mission to accomplish here. And the mission is to find a, a sheep. Okay? So we will go on a sheep hunt. This is a lot of horses. It's a lot of horses here. And uh, I think I will take a screenshot of this because it's, it's fairly nice. So I just pressed F2 and uh, I got a screenshot. And um, well, let's uh, walk. Uh, here we can see 
uh, on our quest to find a sheep, we will see these uh, it's sugar canes. These are sugar canes. And it's good to have sugar canes uh, because obviously you can get sugar from it, but you can also get papers from it, which is good uh, if you want to uh, make a map in a later at a later date or you want to make books or whatever so paper is always nice okay let's see if we can find a sheep we had three before but uh, I wasn't fast enough so one got away and uh, well we will just walk until we find this uh, third sheep because we need, as I said before, we we do need um, three wool cubes. Okay, I will tell you how I swam. If I just press the W button and jump in, I will sink like a stone. And uh, when these blue bubbles uh, come to an end, I will start drowning. So press the uh, blank space button and then I will jump I won't go anywhere but I will jump so hold on the black uh, blank space button and W and you will start swimming how nice okay so now you're up on land again but we needed to go over alright so and uh, by the way uh, the animals can swim I think all of the animals can swim actually and here we have pumpkins, so yeah, I will take uh, a pumpkin, and it looks very scary. But actually, you can use, uh, you can make pumpkin seeds, and uh, you can make pumpkin pies, and that will be food. So it might be actually a good idea to harvest these pumpkin heads. Okay, so here we have some cows, very nice, moo, yeah, but I don't have to kill everybody. And I don't want to kill everybody because I don't like killing animals unnecessarily. If I have to for survival, I will, but uh, I will prefer not to. Okay, so I will be walking and walking and walking. And this is very high grass. And uh, now I'm uh, eating some pigs. I think I will actually... Uh, try to find a good place to settle down I think I will have to I have to look if I have I don't actually have a lot of wood so I will go and uh, get some wood I think I will find this um, I will find a place to put down my stuff and I will do it like this so I know where where to be, okay. And uh, yeah, I will put down this one here, and um, we'll do it like that, okay. So now I I need actually I an axe because everything goes much faster if I have an axe, so I can chop down some wood to build a little house. And uh, when I have built that house, I think uh, this uh, first let's play will come to an end. But I will fix this first. So I will go to find some... What was that? Oh, wolves. One wolf. Yeah, okay. Well, um, I will find some wood. First of all. Uh, about wolves. Well, if you uh, attack the wolf, they will... Uh, get very red eyes and will be very upset with you for well obvious reasons but if you give them some food I think yeah it is uh, bones if you give them a bone or two they will be uh, nice little dogs they will turn from uh, wolves to dogs but the thing is to get bones you basically need to, uh, oh, what is this? We need sprouts wood. Uh, you basically need to either uh, kill a, ske a skeleton shooter, which you will only meet if you have normal or hard difficulty, uh, or you can make a fishing pole and uh, 
go fishing and hope to find a bone while fishing. I think I know that sounds very strange and very weird in all sorts of ways. However, that's the way it works. I so let's see if we can find find our stuff here. Because now I have a thirty three uh, wooden cubes and we do need to build us a house. So I will if I hold down the shift key and the left uh the left uh, mouse button at the same time here, I will get all sprudge wood planks in one big swoop. It's a neat little trick to use. Okay. So now we will build uh, the little house situation. Okay, so I will start by doing this. If I have, I need to have. Um, this is not something you want to do at night in normal mode, but anywho, you will need two. Those one, two, three, I think. You will need to have at least um, three spaces like like this to be able to fit a bed and, and stuff and uh, not be kicked out while, when you wake up. So this is the minimum, I think. Uh, it depends on what you want and how you want to build it and stuff, but anywho. All right. Um, well, you need also to make make a door, but I will do that uh, later on. I will fix this situation first. And as you can see, I'm I'm climbing and jumping because it's uh, the easiest way to to do things. All right. Let's see if I have some. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm making a roof. I think it's a fairly nice type of roof. I like these types. I want my house to look nice actually, yeah. So I will use uh an iron uh, not an iron, a dirt block. Yeah. A dirt block to be able to build the final section of this uh roof. Okay, so now I have to go down and see to it that I don't fall from very high up. Okay, so now I have a nice little roof. Now I have to make a door. Okay, so I go into the crafting table by right clicking. And now I will uh, use these sprudge wood planks, left click, and then left click to put them down. There is a quicker way to do this, but this is a beginner's video. So, right click, right, 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 and now we need one here, so right click again, and then left click. Okay, so this configuration, no matter what types of, um, uh, of planks you have, will always make three doors. For some reason you will get three doors. Since this is sprouch wood planks, you will get a sprudge door. Okay, so you can put them in from the outside and the inside. If you put them in from the outside, I will show you uh, why that might be a good idea. And I put up some torches. Okay, so to get inside uh, through the door, you look at the door, mark the door, and uh, click right click on the mouse and the door will open. Right click again. And now you see you have some more space. So if you would have put the door in from the inside, uh, the door would have been on the inner part of that cube. So when you have hostiles around, like zombies and stuff, uh, they get closer to you if the door is put in from the inside. Okay, I want uh, some more light in here. So uh, I will do it like this. And uh, I don't have a lot of things, but I do have, if you remember, I, I took some sand. So now we will make 
a glass and after that I think we will pause this thingy uh, because it's a lot of information in a very short amount of time and I have no idea how long I've been talking but we will we will make this glass first before I end this okay so this is a glass cube it's just glass and you can make um, uh, also I think it's called glass panes in this uh, game but the thing is that you you really don't need those glass panes because you only it's basically enough with these um, glass cubes and from my personal opinion uh, it feels more secure with these glass cubes because it's like a double glass window or something okay so I put in some raw mattoon I think it's called it's from uh, the sheep I think think we killed something and anywho and here we have cooked uh, meat which is good okay so we have iron ore we have a lot of coal and we have some iron ingots and now we are cooking up some uh, some meat and uh, well things look good so in the next uh, episode I will uh, try to find some sheep. I will <laughs> try to f to make a bed. We only have two wall cubes, but uh, we have uh, our basic situation here, and now we have uh, some cooked food. So yeah, well, this is it for now, and thanks for uh, listening and uh, watching, and uh, see you around in the next episode of Let's Play Minecraft ABC. Bye bye.